and uh, here at the Olvener booth, you are powering this smart glass. Sure, sure. This is for real. Yeah, this is for real. This is based on our A33 chipset. So this is a uh, solution designed by, by one of our partners in Taiwan, which you can see down there. And so Cortronic. Yeah, this is a, a company that has a lot of lot of expertise in kind of projection and optics. And they wanted to design this solution for some of their customers in the industrial space. And um, you know, this, is a, this is a project that we've supported for, for the last you know, few months or so. So it's a really nice PCB, a very, very compact PCB in there with the A33. Right, 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 yeah. And uh, it just takes this tiny portion right here. Mm -hmm. And, but you also does not include a battery, so it's battery powered. No, no. Yep, yep. It's battery powered. I mean, you can charge it through through USB. So this is something that's still in development, but it kind of shows kind of shows the direction our company is taking it in IoT and trying to diversify into different solutions. And this company is uh, good at making uh, this prism solution here. The uh, the the resolution is uh, 640 by 360. Right. That's, Three, that's, 2000. Yeah, that's it's bright. Display. Quite bright. Yeah. The thing about this is, I think, if you've looked at some of the other, you know, smart glass solutions that have come out in the market, probably one of the things that's always challenging is getting the right brightness in this in this yeah. display here because it's projected back onto your eye. So if you talk about looking at something in your in your peripheral vision. You definitely need it to be bright enough to pay attention to, and to be actually, and to be actually be able to know what's going on in the image. So A33 is in a twenty-five dollar, thirty dollar tablets. It'd be awesome if this was mass, mass market Google Glass. It'd be cool, no? What do you think? Uh, I mean, you would, uh, you'd all winner. What does all winner think, think about the, uh, this? The, the, the smart glass market is, is is tricky because no one's really leading the market yet. Um, I think we look at it as, as kind of an extension of, of AR. So you have VR where you have the complete immersive experience in, in terms of virtual reality, where this kind of recognize, this kind of represents more of the augmented reality space. So we're, we're definitely looking at it. We're trying to support people who are getting into the market, supporting customers who are getting into that market, but uh, no one's really leading it yet. So it's, inter it's interesting to see what will happen. Hopefully some distributor maybe watching this video would contact this company and say, hey, we want to do a supermarket mass distribution for $99. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, if yeah. the display engine is not too expensive, hopefully, it all depends on that. Sure. The A33 is the same price if it's a tablet or if it's a smart glass. Yeah, it's still you know it's a it's a low cost you know, application processor for for this application and also for for tablet applications. Cool and running uh, Android. Yep, it's running Android right here. Uh, this on is this. actually a customized version right now. If you actually put this on, it's difficult to see because yeah, difficult to see. Sure. You know, I'm not sure if you yeah. can actually see it through the video it, yeah. here, but uh, this is only running in camera mode. The actual menu, just for confidentiality yeah. reasons. Not like this, right? We're not actually showing the, uh, you know, the main menu. Okay, it's kind so, of running in camera mode. So right now it's just a camera, but as I saw, there was a focusing happening, and there's some button a little bit on the side, so you can, uh, right, you can right. trigger it, and they could be eventually perhaps voice commands and all that stuff. Mm -hmm, sure. uh, that's awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, before the end of the year, we have millions of these shipping. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. It'd be awesome. In addition. In, in addition to that, like what else is going on here in IoT? Like we haven't we haven't put the actual modules out here. But there's a lot of interesting stuff that's coming out. Like if you look at this, the the R16, the R16 is actually a small IoT module. So it's a small IoT module. Yeah. At uh, this is actually based on. Is that the information? Yeah. This is the specifications. So it's a quad core. Yeah. It's actually a customized solution, quad core solution specifically for uh, for IoT development. So this is the eco. If you look here, this is the ecosystem of the devices that are in play here. So it's one of those modules in here, which is kind of a smart hub, smart box. Is this a real uh, product or is yeah, not yeah. yet? It's a real product from Hisense. So it's a Hisense, uh, kind of like a base station for the yeah, IoT. Like smart hub, like basically like a, a home gateway for this. And then you have a. Uh, this is a home. This is like an air purifier that they combine in this set. So what happens is you actually use the smartphone in a in a smart home environment. Is you have the app on the smartphone. And then you use the app to kind of control, turn off and on different equipment, and it actually communicates to the smart hub, which then relays those signals to the air purifier and other equipment in the house. So this kind of represents another another direction we're taking in. What's this design? It's a similar, similar smart box, smart hub solution, just by from a different customer. So it would be powered and staying in your home, and always powered in your home, yeah. and controlling your smart home. Right, right. So you're going to the, the IoT, you're going to wearables. Yeah. Uh, all winner is getting everywhere. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different areas to get into. I think it's just what's very important for us is to get the product right, to get a, uh, a product that works well, a product that has a good user experience, low power. So, you know, these are some of the different areas that we're going into.